Hi everybody, I'm Jonathan, messenger for the spirit world. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. I have a gentleman with me um, called Dickie. Hmm. Now Dickie was a um, First World War pilot. He was on the Allied side and he's telling me that he was a balloon buster um, right. he's saying that even though you did engage with other aircraft um, and bombers and such like his main objective was balloons um, he's saying that a lot of balloonists or observers that was in balloons had parachutes so when he used to burst a balloon they would jump with the parachute on so um, a lot of them didn't pass away they all get killed they were um okay this is the reason he wanted to become a balloon buster is because he wanted to learn to fly he already had a motor car right so with him having a motor car um, right okay he said he also could ride a horse and he said if you could drive a motor car and ride a horse you can fly a plane um, I, I don't know if that's true for today but that's what used to happen then and he He said it was a better way of life, a very dangerous way of life, but a better way of life uh, in the aircraft. And uh, he used to learn all sorts of different tricks and things to escape um, being shot down by other aircraft. But right. Hmm. He said he got wounded a couple of times, um, mainly leg, mainly in the leg. Um, but apart from that, he was he, he was quite unscathed in in many ways. He right. once he left the. Um, the armed forces he um, right he said once he left the armed forces he he, he wanted to buy an aeroplane himself for himself to still fly and he um Right, is that? I think he's telling me that. Or I think he's trying to tell me because he's very faint that he he bought his own plane afterwards. He bought his, his plane, which was a balloon buster. He bought that so he could dr fly around a bit. And unfortunately, he went into the world of spirit because he'd had too much to drink and he was flying his plane and he hit trees. 
and uh, that passed him into the world of spirit. Mm, right. Mm. He, he said that he was due to go into the Royal Air Force as an instructor um, for the Second World War or the start of it in the thir late 30s, 38, 37, 38 um, to start building up the pilots and um, unfortunately it, 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 it didn't, it didn't he says he got fed up of going down the garden shed <laughs> going into the garden shed to drink his, his wine and um, Right. He's saying it wasn't a suicide as such, but he was the happiest. He was, correction, he was at his happiest when he was flying, and uh, which is a shame, really. Um, He said that he didn't. He never considered himself a brave man, but he did his duty, and that's all that is required of any serviceman. Okay, he's he's, he's just wanted to tell his story. He's not mentioning anybody else's name of his descendants, so he, he's not. Okay. Okay, no problem, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, he's pulling away now, although he's very faint anyway, but he's pulling away. And um, I'd just like to say thank you very much for your support. And if you like what I do, please like and su subscribe and hit the little notification bell of any new videos that I put on. And on that note, I'd just like to say thank you once again for tuning in. And God bless you all and see you on the next one.